Effective warfighter training is crucial to battlefield mobility, mission coordination, survivability, and success. Lidos develops and delivers advanced virtual ground aviation and maritime simulators to train warfighters for action in any theater of operation. Lidos virtual simulators enable warfighters to train individually and collectively on dangerous tasks in safe and controlled environments using high fidelity vehicle cab and aircraft variants in hundreds of training scenarios, tasks and procedures. Lidos simulators provide efficient, cost effective and measurable training to increase warfighter readiness and accelerate deployment. Here's a quick look at Lidos Virtual Simulators today. The non-rated Crew Member Manned Module, or NCM-3, trains helicopter crews in critical gunner, hoist, and sling load operations. It supports two aircraft, the UH-60 Blackhawk and the CH-47 Chinook, and nine simulator configurations. The NCM-3 integrates the actual feel, sounds, and experience of each crew position through the high-fidelity, three-dimensional, or 3D, virtual world inside the crew member's helmet-mounted display, or HMD, replicating the pneumatic recoil of realistic M240H machine guns, the tactical hoist and sling load cable motion and resistance based on different cargo, wind and weather conditions. The NCM-3 was developed for the U.S. Army to interoperate with the Aviation Combined Arms Tactical Trainer or AVCAT and supports the individual crew and collective training in a 53-foot mobile training facility to provide training anywhere in the continental U.S. The RC-12X Cockpit Procedure Trainer, or CPT, is a compact, modular, immersive simulation solution for delivering realistic pilot and co-pilot procedural, sustainment, and annual training without leaving the mission. The RC-12X supports air crews in a multitude of cockpit procedures, from pre-flight check to shutdown, in a variety of task coordination for the RC-12X and Hawker Beechcraft King Air 350ER aircraft using Rockwell Collins ProLine 21 avionics systems. The simulator duplicates the exact RC-12X cockpit from the throttle quadrant to seats and yokes and uses touchscreen panels to replicate the aircraft's actual controls, dials, and switches. The RC-12X CPT can be reconfigured in 30 minutes for different avionics suites and new software loads. The Army's Common Driver Trainer, or CDT, is the foundation for an extensive product line that features 11 vehicle variants, including light infantry fighting vehicles, mine-resistant ambush-protected, or MRAP vehicles, main battle tanks, combat engineering vehicles, and the CDT Mobile Trainer to deliver training wherever the need exists. The Stryker variant, or CDT-SV, was the first military vehicle simulated. The CDT product line features a six degree of freedom motion base, which provides realistic motion cues to warfighters in executing training scenarios. The CDT-SV has more than 100 high fidelity, operationally relevant scenarios to train and evaluate driver performance on critical driving tasks. The CDT MRAP V simulates multiple mine resistant ambush protected or MRAP vehicles and features interchangeable dash panels for different manufacturers' vehicles in the MRAP fleet, including the RG 33L, RG 31, Cayman, and Max Pro. The CDT platform supports interchangeable vehicle cabs, which help shorten development time for new variants and reduce cost. In this accelerated time sequence, a forklift removes the CDT MRAP V from the CDT platform and replaces it with the CDT-SV. Key features of Lidos Virtual Simulators include vehicle and aircraft variants that represent the form, fit, and function of actual combat vehicle cabins, aircraft cockpits, forward and aft sections, extensive synthetic virtual environment, and geotypical terrain databases of up to 1,000 square kilometers, enabling training in different weather conditions, times of day, and terrains. A scalable, computational environment that expands to accommodate additional functionality and integrate commercial off-the-shelf, or COTS, technology with military simulations. Instructor Operator Station, or IOS, for system and scenario configuration, performance monitoring, and training record management. After Action Review, or AAR, recording all driver and crew actions and generating automatic student scoring of tasks and scenarios for replay. 
compliant with the U.S. Army's Synthetic Environment Core, or SE Core, program, and fully compliant with the Virtual Simulation Architecture, Distributed Interactive Simulation, or VDIS protocol, enabling networking and interoperation with other compliant simulations. Links to other air and ground simulators through the Army's One Semi-Automated Force, or OneSAF, and fully integrates into the live, virtual, and constructive, or LVC battle space for joint training exercises. The benefit and the value of Lidos Virtual Simulation Solutions lies in our use of common product line architecture of hardware and software components and logistic support. This helps to lower the cost of ownership across the life cycle of Lidos simulators, reduce the time to develop new simulation platforms and development costs, increase reconfigurability and the flexibility to expand and meet evolving training requirements through the maximum reuse of products and components. Effective warfighter training and coordination is critical to battlefield mobility, mission execution, survivability, and success. Lidos virtual simulators provide efficient, cost-effective, measurable, and trackable training to enable warfighter readiness and accelerate deployment. To learn more about our virtual simulation solutions, contact Lidos today.